Good evening. Welcome to the 59th annual Encina Preparatory High School commencement ceremony. Tonight, we celebrate the class of 2020. Before we get started, please welcome ASB Vice President Joan Yang, who will lead us through the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, graduates, families, and Encina staff. My name is Joan Yang, your 2020 ASB Vice President. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Okay. Although this is one of our biggest obstacles in our high school career, let's all walk to the top of the mountain and reflect on our struggles we have overcome these past four years. Do you remember the first day you stepped into this place? At some point, we wondered to ourselves if we would ever make friends like everyone else. As we all walked this journey together, we came across many questions, confusions, dramas, and other obstacles. But together we made this journey fun, exciting, mysterious, and interesting, but most importantly, memorable. In 10 to 20 years from now, we will all look back and remember this moment we've all had together, both the good and the bad. Not only did we become friends, but through the years I have been here, the class of 2020 has shown me that we are one big family. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank all of our supporters who have helped and encouraged us along our journey. We would like to thank our family and friends for being there when we needed them, and our close teachers and advocacy teachers, whether it be our new or old. I would like to personally thank my parents for supporting me throughout these years, cooking the meals when I should be cooking them, and being the reason as to why I want to further my education. I thank my siblings for being a part of my life, for doing the dishes when I'm doing my homework, and being their son to my gloomy days. I would also like to thank all of my teachers for giving me the knowledge I have today, especially Ms. Reich, for helping me the best she could. She has the biggest heart and she tries her best to do her job. Another group of people I would like to greatly thank is the Belize family. They have greatly impacted my senior year for they have given me the opportunity to visit different colleges and supported me. The last group of people I would like to thank are the people who helped me get through my high school days, plus Ultra. Thank you so much for the many hangouts and being the best group of friends I could ever ask for. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Yang. Graduates, parents, family members, friends, faculty, Encina staff, and dignitaries of the Encina community and the San Juan Unified School District. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to this celebration of the class of 2020. While all of us wish we could carry out this event live, I am sure that none of us are going to let this virtual nature of the ceremony diminish what it stands for, the graduation of a truly amazing group of students. Joining us tonight to celebrate our graduates are two distinguished guests, Mr. Kent Kern, Superintendent of the San Juan Unified School District, and Ms. Pam Costa, board member of the San Juan Unified School Board. Whether we celebrate our seniors virtually or live, what we applaud is the same their achievements over the last four years of high school, and their courage to achieve the great plans they have made for themselves in the years ahead. Some of our graduates are going to college, either nearby or out of state. Others will be joining the armed forces, and still others will be going directly into the workforce. All of them are going to go into a world that is very different than the one we were accustomed to up until just a few months ago. However, they will face this new world with a distinction that the vast majority of us do not have. They are going into it as Encina alumni. This means they have the grit, the tenacity, the strength, and the unwavering confidence to face down any of the challenges that will lay before them. I, along with the rest of the staff, am proud to know these fine young men and women, and henceforth to call them Encina alumni. So without further ado, let's begin our celebration of the Bulldog class of 2020. I would now like to introduce our senior advocacy faculty who have a special message for our graduates. Hello families, friends, and graduates. Thanks for attending our super normal and super standard graduation ceremonies for Encina class of 2020. We all know things are crazy right now and this is not how anyone wanted to celebrate this class of 2020's graduation. After all, everyone here knows how special your students are. 
We have such a large number of grads that have been here since sixth grade and early middle school. And having taught most of them in class, I cannot tell you how much I've been waiting for them to graduate. We have all taken up the challenge of working with you guys because it's easy to see the rewards from your hard work and determination. The class of 2020 has exemplary levels of graduation and college acceptance, which will set the standard for future classes for years. Every teacher here can tell you a story about one of these grads that causes pain to be remembered or fear to be revisited, as you families know very well. But it was ta Coates that summed it perfectly with, forget what you have heard or what you have seen in your kids when they lie about homework or laugh it off when the teacher calls home. When they curse the teacher up and down or refuse to ever go back to that place because inside is the same sense within all of us. None of us want to fail. None of us want to be unworthy to not be accepted. That fear of unworthiness has been felt by the grads here and somehow they found the strength to fight f through that fear and face the next challenge. COVID-19 is not going to be the last difficult challenge in your lives, but we all know the work accomplished by these students will enable them to face and overcome any obstacles that await. This COVID-19 event may have defined how we conclude this school year, but it will not define how you begin the next stages of your life. This is just another obstacle to get over and grow from. Like my man Ludacris said, any road without obstacles isn't worth traveling down. The five of us couldn't count the number of times that we've heard one of you say, this is too hard, this is crazy. I can't do this, I'm giving up. But class of 2020, you know our standard reply. This is hard and this is crazy, but we'll support you. We love you and we believe in you and you can do this. And standing here today, we could not be more proud. You did this. The bonds that have been created and cultivated here at Encina are some of the strongest in our lives and will not be forgotten. Your teachers will miss, are missing you, and want to celebrate this culminating event with you. We all want you to know that we are proud and happy for you and how we feel in your pain and are missing this big day that we have all been looking forward to for years. The day that we were supposed to stand on this stage together, leaving nobody behind. We just want you to know that getting through this will allow you to accomplish whatever you can imagine. At Encina, we are family. We love you. We know you got this. Go Bulldogs. I now have the honor of introducing a graduate who stands out among her peers with her accomplishments at Encina. This year's valedictorian, the graduate with the highest overall grade point average. Please welcome Michelle Gutierrez. Good evening and thank you for being with us tonight. Before I start, I would like to offer my condolences to those affected by the ongoing pandemic, not only here in our own community, but across the country as well. The physical and emotional challenges that now confront us on a daily basis, especially on days like today, make it difficult to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But that's nothing new for our class. We've been fighting to see the finish line for four years now, only to realize it is in fact just another starting line. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to acknowledge the friends and family that are here celebrating with us tonight. Thank you all for the support you have given us throughout the years. Today, it is easy to find a reason to celebrate, even if it is at a distance. But I'm sure that we can all think of a time when it was not so easy, a time when it was difficult, a time where giving up may have been the easier choice. Thank you most of all for choosing to stand beside us in those times as well. Although today is kind of bittersweet, I am honored to be here speaking to you all as the valedictorian of the class of 2020. We've been told for so long by our parents and teachers, our coaches and mentors, that hard work pays off. But I'm not sure that we have always been as convinced of that as they have. Learning to believe in yourself takes time. Discipline and focus comes with time, but they also require failure. The graduates being honored today are as different as the paths they took to get here. But one thing we all have in common is that we stand here together, ready to write the next chapter of our lives, whatever that may be. Today 
is an opportunity for us to look back and consider the time we have had here, the lessons we have learned, and the memories we have made. First of all, I would like to thank my family for all the love, support, and advice they have given me. Growing up in a single parent household has always been tough, but luckily I have a hardworking, caring, and loving mother and my family by my side every step of the way, making me laugh, having their shoulder to cry on, and being able to count on them for whatever I need whenever I need it. In all, they have helped me get through the tough times and make life better. On a brighter note, I have been at Encina since the beginning, sixth grade, and it is a unique place, but overall a family and community. We are blessed to have found the support, love, and attention we receive from all our staff members. One thing I've always admired about our staff is that they never give up on us, no matter how much we stress them out or how many bad choices we make. They never stop trying to make us better and lead us in the right path. And I know we would not all be standing here without the constant voice of our staff in our ears telling us the same thing in different ways, no matter how many times it took for us to understand. So I'd like to take this time to thank a few staff members who have made a huge impact in my life and who pushed me to become the best version of myself and help me navigate through all the ups and downs, both inside of school and out. Mr. Vasquez, the math teacher, Mr. Roth, Mr. Dennis, Mr. Vasquez, the PE teacher, Mr. Crop, also known as Coach Crop, Coach Omar and Coach Bonnie, Mr. Milan, and last but definitely not least, Ms. Barber, who has seen me grow up each year in advocacy, sitting quietly, but growing more and more each year. To my classmates, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. In this quote from Dr. Seuss, I hope you find inspiration to follow the path you want for yourself in this next chapter of your lives. And it doesn't matter how challenging or unexpected it is, as long as it's something you want and will be good for you, of course, then you have the brains to make it happen and your feet to walk you down that path to overcome all difficulties. We did it, Bulldogs. We have taken that first step. Go out and reach your goals. Another student of whom we are all proud, another great example of the class of 2020, is our salutatorian, Angelique Gauthier. All right, hello, students, staff, friends, and family. My name is Angelique Gauthier, your class of 2020 salutatorian. This year has been an absolute roller coaster with its extreme highs and lows. I speak for my class when I say we're all sharing the same wishes. We wish we could have gone to our last prom. We wish we could have experienced our senior trip. We wish we could sit in the cafeteria, calm and collected as the younger kids run amok one last time. We wish we could have experienced our final rally dedicated specifically to the seniors. <laughs> and most of all, we wish we all could have graduated together. Personally, I wish I could go back in time and tell everybody to wash their hands. <laughs> I've spent the last few months reflecting not only on the memories we could have made, but the great ones that we did make, like our junior prom, homecoming, and the first football game after our very own football stadium was finally finished. Granted, we didn't have lights, but those 10 a.m. games were still exciting. <laughs> There were so many good things that came out of this year that I hope we don't lose sight of because of COVID-19. I can almost guarantee that decades from now, people will still be talking about this year and remember the millions of high school seniors that were robbed of their high school experience. I'd like to think that here at Encina, we had a more unique experience. Students at Encina were looked down upon the second we enrolled here, but we have proven time and time again that we will not be held back by labels of society. Some of you came here in middle school, others like myself came freshman year, and have overcome so many obstacles since then. Despite everything the world has thrown at us, we made it. It's been a long time coming, and it may not be the way we imagined it, but be proud of the hard work that you put in to get here. Some of us didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but thanks to the teachers and staff here at Encina who never gave up on us, our families who never stopped pushing us, our friends who stood by our sides, we finally made it. I'd like to thank my family for being my rock and being there for me throughout this journey. My teachers and coaches that went out of their way to lend me a helping hand even when they didn't need to. I would like to thank my friends I made over the past few years. And whether we're still friends or not, 
or had a gradual falling out, I genuinely hope each and every one of you live a full and prosperous lives. Every one of you deserves the world and more. You've each played a part in the woman I'm becoming today, and I can't thank you enough. This year has been a series of setbacks that we all have the strength to overcome. I am so proud of all of us. We thought this day would never come. After the long hours we stayed up studying, while working in school, playing sports, leading clubs, taking care of your family at home, the list goes on and on. I don't want to make this speech too long because I remember watching my older sisters graduating from Encina and thinking to myself, these speeches are going on forever. I understand why now. It's hard to express how valuable high school is in such a short amount of time. I wanted to leave you all with one piece of advice before I stop. Live life for you. You only have one chance to leave your mark on the world, and only you can experience life through your eyes. Today is the first day of the rest of your life, and now is the time to decide where you're going from here. I hope that when our high school reunion comes, we can all look around in admiration of how successful each and every one of us has become. Learn from your experience and become the best version of yourself. Thank you for listening. Go Bulldogs. Please welcome board member Pam Costa. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to congratulate each of you for your great achievement. We applaud your hard work, perseverance, and commitment to reach the milestone of graduating from high school. Congratulations to the Encina High School class of 2020. Also, congratulations to the parents, family, and friends of the graduates, and a sincere thank you to the dedicated staff who have taught, supported, counseled, and led the school during the class of 2020's time here. I really wish to give Encina's graduation speech for two reasons. I am a proud graduate of Encina High School. Also, I have been attending Angelique's student-led conferences throughout and wanted to see her graduate. This is the graduation that none of us wanted for you. It's disappointing. Your graduation ceremony is the gateway into your new adult self. 2020 didn't allow any of the typical senior traditions. We all wish it would have been different. I wish I could wave a magic wand and you would have the event of your dreams, but that is not a reality. With the disappointments, you could look at COVID-19 as having robbed you of many things, or you could look at what it gave you in preparing you for the future. Three months after I graduated from Encina, a new program started on television. I think some of you will recognize the last line of the show's opening, to boldly go where no one has gone before. That is how I see the class of 2020. You are venturing out into a strange new world, one that many of us have never seen before. The ways that we do business, educate students, stay in touch with friends and family have changed in just two short months. Things continually change day to day and week to week. And the class of 2020 is boldly stepping forward to go where no one has gone before. You won't just be exploring, you will be helping to create this new world. And you can create a better world than pre the pre-COVID one. You've learned to pivot in a matter of days from classroom instruction to distance learning. You take classes on Zoom. You communicate with family and friends while adults are trying to figure out what is Zoom. You are already ahead of most of us in the area of technology. You are more involved than previous generations. You question the right and the wrong of decisions rather than just blindly accepting the information. You are more politically astute. You want equity for all. You are willing to stand for issues that matter to you. Keep believing that you can make a difference and you will make a difference. Vote in every election and choose candidates who care about making the world better. Showing your caring and concern for others allows you to keep your passion alive and gives you a chance for advocacy. Help a child who needs help. Volunteer in a food bank. Call a senior who needs a phone call. Give back to the world, and the world will give back to you. More than most graduates, you are starting from knowing that life isn't always easy, and it's not always fair. But you have persevered through it all, and you are stronger for it. My friends in the class of 2020, I know that you will do great things in the years ahead. Congratulations. You're already a first, the first to graduate virtually, but I know you're going to create many other firsts. Thinking of you, congratulations. 
And now here to confer the diplomas to our graduates is Superintendent Kent Kern. Hello, I'm Superintendent Kent Kern. By the power vested in me by the State of California and the Board of Trustees of the San Juan Unified School District, I hereby authorize the issuance of diplomas of graduation to the students of Encina's graduating class of 2020. Amira Hawa Abdul Hakim Abdul Jalil. Mohammed Noor El Mrabel. Adil Atai. Elizabeth Avila Cruz. Ricardo Avila Cruz. Robin Floyd Vergara Baltazar. Brandon Bautista Areola. Hajir Basim Sabi Beni Ez. Aiden Murphy Boyers. Kamisha Nima Brown. Jermaine Gerlano Brown. Carlos Daniel Cabrera Marin. Shannon Denoris Kennedy. Glenda Sofia Castellano Menjivar. Fatima Guadalupe Castillo Lopez. Luis Alexander Castro Mendiola. Isora Sarahi Cipriano Bautista. Jacqueline Cristobal Ramirez. Destiny Alexandra Cuevas. Chelsea Torda Daduya. Asipeli Tom Dex Dewai. Danny Arnold Diamond. Hector Diaz Herrera. Lawrence Vong Seng L. Cyan Aliyah Amanel Ellis Brown. Dominic Michael Ferguson. Sarah Flores Carrillo. Ivan Wilberth Flores Jimenez. Francis Fuentes Rivera. Ophelia Gamez. Alonzo Victor Garcia. Angelique Shante Gauthier. Kylie Joy Gee. You Lady Annabella Gonzalez Gudino. Jada Grove. Michelle Gutierrez. Saira Gutierrez Mendez. Michael Rene Guy. Raven Joy Hale. Abdul Malik Abdul Razak Hamid. Syed Abdullah Hamidi. Leonard Eric Lamar Hands. Humaira Hazanzade. Dylan Jafet Hernandez Rojas. Dominique Darlene Hudson. Afsar Khan Hussein Zadeh. 
پرفین عبدال بسیت ابراہیم حجیرا اقبال نکائل جمال احمد فرداوز جامی دیستری امدیس جنکنز Kailani Nicole Johnson Nimatula Huram Jacqueline Sheriel Lacour Orlando Marcel Livingston Ramon Fernando Lopez Correa Cesar Abisai Lopez Suchiapa Tara Mahmoud Kale Josiah Ali Marcellus Brian Michelle Mariscal Damian Ashley Marie Martinez Brishe Dion Marzetta Delilah Shanette Mayorga Brianna Leilani Mendoza Jacqueline Cassandra Mendoza Liliana Mendoza Sendejas Emily Amalia Messina Gutierrez Jesus Francisco Mortera Aguilar Samia Lene Maril Malak Musa Samula Najib Theodore Allen Navadi Tariq LaVey Cash Newman Benazir S. Nuri Kevin Axel Noyola Kinalishka Mary Ocasio Maisone Carlos Olmos Cisneros Oscar Olmos Cisneros Jorge Enrique Orozco Ramirez Azucena Ortiz Tejeda Devin James Pacheco Carmelita Elizabeth Debra Padilla Demarion Latroy Parker Christopher Isaiah Payne Naun Edgardo Paz Tercero Davel Anthony Perry Santi Leanne Perry Tiara Khadija Price Priscilla Inez Prudente Lopez Nurula Kasimi Fatima Rahimi Neda Rasa Sina Rasa Devante John Ray Nicholas David Redoble Rodolin M. Respicio 
Dennis Jose Reyes Perez. Sequoia Mila Dupree Robertson. Angel Eduardo Rodriguez. Jocelyn Jasmine Rugamas. Francis Michaela Adana Sabiniano. Athena Moy Sechao. Nasreen Safi. Nazanin Safi. Nevea Vega Salazar. Yedi Yoselin Salinas Tercero. Priscilla Sanchez Mayorkin. Heather Annika Shamwe. Miriam Siddiq. Yossi Orlando Silva Gonzalez. Heavenly Evelyn Singer. Alan Jayon Smith. Brianna Sotelo Ramirez. D'Angelo Isaiah Stevens. Ye Lin Ted. Fong Tao. Alenia Hattie Elizabeth Tucker. Abriana Elise Tynes. Andrea Melissa Valencia Godinez. Milady Valentin Gomez. Jordan David Vaughn. Mustafa Wahabzadeh. Kamar Douglas Ward. Jalen Keith White. Moshi Wilanja. Abel Degefu Warana. Joan Yang. Samuela Yawari. Masuda Zaki. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Please welcome Senior Class Vice President Athena Seichow, who will lead the seniors through the tassel exchange. Good evening, graduates and families. As today's date, June 5th, I know this isn't the graduation that we planned on our special day, but at least we made it, class of 2020. It's not a stage, but we have our own stage to walk. I know we all can agree that this has been a long and tough journey. There have been many twists and turns and many obstacles. A bumpy ride for most of us, in some ways or others which we got lost on. Regardless of how long we've been together, where we started or the challenges we have to overcome, we all have arrived at our destination now. And this is a journey that we should celebrate, but mostly to reflect on the road that we left behind. The experience and memories we have shared and the lessons we have learned have begun to shape the people that we will become. With the help of our teachers and of each other, we will take part in society. We now know how difficult it is for each other and how to complete a set task, especially when it's very difficult. We have learned how to push ourselves past our boundaries. We put trust in ourselves. Even when it's scary at times, we know we are capable of doing many things. For some of us, we had many things to define all of our experiences in high school. For me, it's making friends and turning them into family. For others, it may be sports, maybe an interesting club or activity, or maybe so for others who have a different word or thing, they will say their classes or their teachers. In the end, while our experiences here are as different as we are from each other, 
There is a bond that we have that came from struggling side by side with each other or our classmates. Studying for that test that you know you're going to ace or your mind fail, waking up too early or too late, sleeping too little, and worrying too much about school or work. But it isn't just the struggles that tie us together as a student body. There are many fond memories as well, or should I say some. As we know, or you know, that we, could, we couldn't have prom, graduation night at Disneyland, senior night at Santa Cruz, or senior war night. Even though we couldn't have made more memories on those days, on days while we're stuck at home, there is still so much to look back on and to be grateful for. Though we have may not appreciate it then, we will now. Before I wrap up this speech, I, would, I want to give a few shout outs to the people who support me all the way. I would like to thank my family for always being there and my best friends as well. I would like to give a big thank you to Ms. Sato, Ms. Reich, Coach Omar, and Coach Bonnie. They taught me to be the hard working overachiever I am today. Last but not least, my one and only long time advocacy teacher, Mr. Dennis. Thank you to all for being there for me. Now the time has come for this moment. Will the 2020 seniors please move their tassels from the right to the left? Class of 2020 Senior Bulldogs, we made it. Graduates, family, friends, and guests, we thank you all for being a part of our virtual graduation ceremony. Seniors will be able to pick up their diplomas on Monday, June 8th. Thank you all once again and take care.